So it's set to be a pretty good championship. So you've got Jamie ranked first, Andy second. How's the feeling in the Murray camp at the moment? <laughs> well, I think it's always a mixture of nerves and excitement um, at this time of year. You know, this Wimbledon's the biggest prize in tennis. It's your home home Grand Slam. So, and and of course the. Uh, enormous support from the crowd and from the the whole nation so uh, yeah I think they're both looking forward to actually getting started now. And from a mother's point of view as well surely you must be feeling super proud as well as Jamie's OBE at the start of this year and Andy obviously fifth Queen's title just like last week uh, how are you feeling personally about them? <laughs> yeah and good no they're just my kids they're <laughs> like, like, they, like they've always been you know we uh, we, we saw both of them yesterday, went and cramped both of their styles at both of their houses yesterday uh, afternoon and evening, took my mum and dad, so we had some really nice family time before the kind of madness of the competition starts for them, which was which was really nice. But yeah, it's been lovely for, for Jamie in particular, you know, to come out of Andy's shadow and, um, you know, be recognised for the great player that he is, because doubles get so little exposure compared to the singles that he's largely flown under the radar. Um, but, you know, winning the Davis Cup was an enormous boost um, for him being part of that team and then winning his first slam in Australia and then uh, getting the number one ranking so everything is is good for him he's in a good place he's been working hard um, just watched him getting a bit better and a bit better the last couple of years and Andy's had a wonderful run into Wimbledon um, clay court season uh, I was going to say it couldn't have been better it could have been a little bit better I guess in terms of, uh, of maybe winning the, the French but really you know on a, on a surface that has challenged him a little bit in the platform past he he really had a spectacular clay season which of course is tiring uh, as well when you play that many matches but then coming into Queens I mean you can't ask for better preparation than winning five matches on grass in uh, one of your favorite tournaments so yeah all good and there's a few changes to Andy this season obviously he's had a baby firstly and obviously Lendl's back in his camp firstly just talk about what's the baby doing is it kind of calming him down a bit do you think how's that making him feel coming into Wimbledon I think he's always um, very laid back if anything he's become even more laid back but uh, you know it just it gives you a nice balance in your life you know there's you're you know you're, you're, you're going home and it's not all about the winning and the losing you know you've got the dogs you've got the baby you've got your wife you've got nice yeah family atmosphere so yes yeah, so that's uh, that's all good and Sophia has she been down to Wimbledon yet uh, no no <laughs> and um, talking about Lendl obviously he's back it seems to be going super well you know does Andy feel that is he more confident do you think having him back in his camp yeah, I think it is just the you know the the reassurance that it brings to have a, an ex champion in your corner at these major events. You know, somebody who's been there and done it before and knows exactly what you're experiencing. Whereas anybody else in his team or in the family, we have no idea what it's like to step out on centre court uh, to to open your campaign or to play a final. What it's like to walk off the court if you've won or if you've lost, we have no idea. And this is, uh, I think, the the great thing about having. Lendl in his corner and obviously works for Novak as well with Boris there There, there's and, and, and Milos now has John McEnroe you know it is you're drawing on that experience because everybody's just looking for the little things that can give you those extra little percent gains that, that, that you want to try and uh, move yourself further up the line.